Hi there, my lovelies. I'm so excited to be back and making these fun dessert shooters. We're gonna be making a raspberry brownie, a strawberry cheesecake, and a lemon meringue shooter. So let's get started. We're first gonna make the brownie for our raspberry and brownie shooters. Mix together your butter and cocoa powder. Then add in your flour, sugar, egg, and vanilla extract and continue to mix until everything is combined. These brownies are really chewy and delicious, so you want to make sure to scrape down the sides and the bottom of the bowl because the batter can get pretty sticky. I buttered and lightly floured my baking pan and then I'm going to add my batter to the pan, flattening it out and pushing the batter into the corners of the pan. And I'm just going to pop that in the oven at 350 degrees for 25 minutes. While we wait for these to bake, we're gonna make our chocolate mousse layer. To your mixing bowl, add some semi-sweet chocolate. Then bring some heavy cream up to a simmer and add it to your mixer. We're gonna let that sit for a few minutes so the chocolate has time to melt. While we wait for that, let's make the raspberry layer. Blend up some washed and rinsed raspberries and add them to a saucepan and cook on a low simmer for 10 minutes. Our chocolate should be ready now. So just take a spatula and mix the chocolate until it's smooth. Then you're going to want to whisk the chocolate mixture until it becomes a mousse. This should take about 10 minutes. Our raspberries are done, so I'm just going to add them back to my bowl to chill. Our brownies are finished baking. And our mousse is thickened up. So now all we have to do is add the mousse to a piping bag fitted with any tip you like. I'm gonna slice the brownie in little squares. And use them as my base for my shooter. Next, add your raspberry layer. Then pipe on your chocolate mousse. And add a raspberry on top as a garnish, and that's it. Now we're gonna make our strawberry cheesecake shooters. I'm adding my cream cheese, sugar, and sour cream to my mixer. Give it a good mix and make sure to scrape down the sides of the bowl. I have here some fresh whipped cream that I just made with some heavy cream and sugar. I'm going to gently fold that into my cream cheese mixture. Make sure to use fresh whipped cream because you'll definitely notice a difference in the flavor. Just fold it in until your mixture is well combined and smooth. Then add your cheesecake mousse to a piping bag. Next, de-stem and chop up your strawberries. I'm gonna go ahead and finely chop up some vanilla wafers for my crust. But you can use a classic graham cracker crust if you like instead. I just find that this is easier. Add your crust to the bottom of your containers. I'll link where I got these along with the full recipe in the description box below. Then go ahead and add in your cheesecake mousse. Next, add in a layer of strawberries and another layer of cheesecake. Garnish it with a strawberry chopped in half. I like to keep the stem on just for a pop of color. And that's it. Now for our last shooter, we're gonna be making a lemon meringue. This is a really fun one to make. Add some lemon juice, eggs, and sugar to a double boiler. 
You're gonna to wanna to whisk your mixture continuously for about 15 minutes until it thickens up. If you have a candy thermometer and want to be extra careful, it should be about 170 degrees. But I find that once it thickens up, it's reached that temperature, so you don't have to use a thermometer if you don't have one. Once it's thickened up, run it through a sieve to get out any lumps. Next, add your cubed butter a few cubes at a time, mix the butter into the lemon custard, and then add more butter until all the butter is melted into the mixture. Next, mix in your lemon zest. Then add some plastic wrap to your mixture and make sure to press the plastic down to the custard so that a layer doesn't form on the top. Add that to your refrigerator for at least two hours until the lemon custard has completely chilled and thickened up. Now we're gonna be making the meringue topping. This part is so fun. Add your egg whites to your mixer. Next, add in your sugar and cream of tartare to your mixer. Then add in some vanilla extract and mix your meringue for about 10 minutes until stiff peaks form. Now add both your meringue and lemon custard to piping bags. I'm just gonna add my vanilla wafer crust again. Then I'm adding the custard. And then lastly, you're gonna add in your meringue topping in whatever fun design you like. If you have a blowtorch, it's fun to give a light crisp to the meringue, but just be careful if you're using plastic cups not to burn the plastic. And that's it. And here are our three dessert shooters. Don't they look amazing? Make sure to like this video and subscribe if you haven't already. I'm gonna be posting my 10,000 subscriber gift giveaway video really soon with over $500 in prizes, you guys. I'm so excited and four chances to win. So if you wanna participate and you haven't subscribed already, make sure to do so. Oh, I can't wait for you guys, I'm so excited. And I'll see you soon. All right, my lovelies, bye.